What's up guys, Matt here in Chicago from the Sky Deck for vlog number 10. Sweet. So today's question for the vlog came from Michelle Harris and Michelle asked, I'm loving these vlogs. Thank you for doing them. My question is sparked from your bling book idea. I've been thinking about doing some small binders of my decals to leave at local shops like hair, nail salons, dog groomers. I do a lot of dog related decals, etc with business cards included in the pocket of the binder. Do you think that's a good idea or a waste of time? Hey Michelle, I think that's a great idea to do something like that. Anything you can do advertising to get somewhere new, some possible new customers. I'll share a little story of something I did when I was first starting out. So one thing I did when I was first starting out is I teamed up with a local cake company that did a lot of weddings. So they did a lot of different weddings and I was trying to sell some of my bridesmaid shirts and just Mary decals to put on the back window of a car and things like that. And what they did is I made a little book and I put some sample shirts in their storefront. This was before I ever had a storefront and it was great advertising because they would do different packages with all of my shirts. So they might get a wedding package with a cake and they would include some shirts in it. The actual cake place would get a little cut. I would give them a little cut of the shirts and then I was making money as well. But more importantly, it was getting advertising out there for me. So that was a great idea and something that worked awesome for me. So something like that, you do a lot of dog decals and stuff like that. I think that would be an amazing idea. Try one thing I've always learned if you don't try it I guarantee you it won't work right what's the worst thing that can happen if it doesn't work then you say you chalk that one up and say you know what that one didn't work believe me I haven't shared all the ideas that don't work right so I normally share all the ideas that work with you guys but I've tried a ton of different things that don't work so please try it let us know what happens so i was talking to jackson about your idea and he thinks you should go for it he thinks you should go for it I'm talking to madison about your idea and what do you think i think you should go for it that's a go then i think you should go for it let us know what happens so michelle one thing i would suggest for you with doing the actual books is Create a book, print out all the different decal samples and put it in a nice book, but only make a couple physical samples of the actual vinyl. I used to do that and I would put it on an acrylic sheet, maybe four of them on a decent size acrylic sheet so people could see the quality of them, see what it looks like. But if you have 100 different decals that you want to show or 50 different decals, then you don't need to make all those, waste all that vinyl and time and stuff. So definitely print them all out, great idea there. And everybody here, Try something like that. Do something different like Michelle's doing with this and that's going to allow you to be a little bit different and we're walking across the road right now in Chicago. But be a little bit different and um, see if it works. The only way you're gonna find out if something like that works is if you try it, you take a chance. And some of them are gonna be a failure. Some of them are gonna be pretty awesome for you. So always try something new. Like I said, if you don't try it, you're never gonna know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today. Hopefully you learned something from it. Hopefully it's gonna help your business. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. To check out all the other vlogs, click right there. To go directly to the website, rhinestoneworld.com, right there. And to see some other awesome videos, make sure to click right there. Comment below, click the like button. You guys have a great night.